Hi, I'm Dr. Rosberg and I'm here with Caitlin and um, we're going to demonstrate uh, how to make adjustments of a Taylor spatial frame. So um, Caitlin's frame has one, two different levels of TSF struts and so there's a different schedule for each level and so we're going to show you um, how to make adjustments on this level right here. So this is what a schedule looks like and it's got the dates, um, the day number, and the struts, strut 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and they're color-coded red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. And the idea is to make adjustments of the struts so that you complete a full row in each day. Okay? So day, the first day is day 0, and that's where the strut happens to be at this particular point in time. And then day 1, which would be tomorrow, um, you're going to make this whole row of adjustments. If the strut ends up being um, increasing in size, then you would go in the direction of the arrow. So for example, if you look at this strut, you can come a little closer to show the detail of the strut. And if you want to increase the size, you turn it in the direction of the arrow. If you want to make the size of the strut smaller, meaning if the strut is supposed to go to a smaller number, then you would go in the opposite direction of the arrow. One full revolution of this turning knob is e equivalent to a millimeter on the, uh, on the strut. Okay. In general, what we like to do is have you um, break up your struts over the course of the day. So what we'll have you do is do struts 1 and 2 in the morning, 3 and 4 in the afternoon, and 5 and 6 in the evening. And that works really well so that you can do it gradually over the course of the day. Um, if it just so happens that one strut is kind of moving more, like moving more and one strut's moving very little, you could even break up one strut adjustment into two times of the day. So for example, if one strut is supposed to go from 116 to 118 over the course of the day and its neighbor isn't doing much that day, then what you might do is do 116 to 117 in the morning and then 117 to 118 in the evening. Okay? So let's actually do a, an adjustment to make the demonstration. So according to this, we're supposed to go from 116 to 117. So let's look at number one. Again, these are color coded. So number one is yellow, number two is uh, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Um, the struts are attached to these rings with these universal hinges. So you can generally move the strut like that. That doesn't mean that it's loose and that works out well often so you can actually see the number. So if you look here on strut number one, it's, it's set right now at 116 and we're supposed to go to 117. So the way that we would do that is we would just take this and make a full revolution and voila, we just made the adjustment. Did that hurt? Right. It's barely perceptible because it's so gradual. If it just there are potentially times where the strut gets tight and it's hard to actually move it by hand and so we'll give you a wrench and you can move the strut by putting the wrench on that little dial piece so you can't always do that and move the strut that way but most of the time you can really just do it with your hand right okay so since we weren't really supposed to do that adjustment let's move that one back okay. So we're just going to go in the opposite Easy. direction, and we'll move it back to 116. All right. And that's about it. Thank you.